going on everybody so it's Jacob Vile today's part two to find out if me taking away that 145 is going to give me a gain or a loss on the meter for my single 512 on a 6k amp and a big ratio fourth order so if you haven't already i gotta give you a good little vlog of information on why i'm doing this and then this is also a test in order to see if the 45 is helping or hurting me as far as spl and just general um pressure inside the enclosure so you never really know this could benefit some people and benefit other builds it would actually hurt so i'm hoping this one benefits me but you never know so let's go ahead and get started so here we go make sure every single principle that i had from before is the exact same which means when i meter it's going to meter the exact same case scenario as before so i'm gonna go ahead and turn the truck on real quick after i get this set up so i'm gonna have it the exact same spot as i had the other one so the meter always on the glass that window will be up door is shut everything everything's in good state so let me go ahead and i'll do a sweep real quick so i took out point one 0.12 cubes from the enclosure which means that that is right at a tenth of a cube that it took out with that 45 so we're hoping that it's a gain but we'll find out in a minute so let's go ahead and turn the head unit on make sure everything is right and back to the settings that i had before which nothing changes the only thing different is make sure i'm on flat and then i just mute my speakers and i'm going to do a sweep real quick at 20 volume 20 and we'll find out if there's any difference in output. Oh, I forgot to get my other phone out for the SSA meter. So I have the app that connects to this. So I watched your video. I've kind of explained it if you all don't know what app I use. So we'll find out real quick here what we're working with. All right. So let's get the test tone going. Bluetooth with a sweep. We're going to find out where my peak is. It should be at 46 to 47 hertz, but we'll see. so 47 hertz that looks like a loss already because i'm at 28 db where before i was at either 29 or 30 i don't remember but we shall see in a minute i'm gonna guess i lost but hey i hope i gain we'll shit we shall see so we're gonna burp at a 48 hertz one hertz i always burp one hertz above where it peaks because it's just how my truck is so let me go ahead and get it rolling and we'll find out oh man i'm a little nervous after seeing that that much of a drop really worried about it hey we'll find out now you only live and learn once right all right so that right there helped me show a loss dang it that means a 45 actually helped me gain well, that just taught y'all something, hopefully. Let me make sure I turn this off. So, taking that 45 out was a waste of time, and that right there just proved it. But let me do a 45, 47 hertz just to confirm. Because before, I was doing a 53.6, 53.7, 53.4, even with the sub a little warm. So that means instantly I knew I lost. But let's do one more real quick. well that was a waste of time oh well that's just how spl works sometimes you gain sometimes you lose but that was sadly a loss so i'm gonna have to go in and take that 45 back up and that proves to me that 45s can help an enclosure not only lose and or help and hurt but for this case it helps i was hoping for a gain but i had a loss so anyway thanks for watching for this part 
of the video. A little disappointing. But let me get back in the back real quick to explain one more thing before I get done. So, that 45, let me go grab it. It's back here. So I have a 45 here. I got a 45 that I had in there. So this 45, for some reason, gave me a gain. So I was hoping for a, a law, uh, uh, me to gain with me having the 45 out, but seems like that 45 in there gave me a little bit of velocity going to the port for me to gain on the meter. So that right there hopefully helped help some of you guys realize that 45s, I guess, are a benefit for an enclosure, not always a loss. Um, kind of a little upset about it, but it's okay. It's a learning curve. So now I'm gonna have to go in there, screw it all back in, tape over it, and keep that in there. I could easily shrink that 45 a little bit smaller, so that way it's not taking as much room, but since I knew my meter score before was a little higher with that in, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like that. So, well, that's what I'm gonna end this video at. 45s can help you or hurt you. In this case, it actually helped me. So 45 shows proof to visually, you can see on the meter a difference, drastic difference, at least that mine was almost half a dB by me taking my 45 out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos. Every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow.